A new Flux model has been released, called the Flux One Context. This is an image editing model from Black Forest Lab. Recently, we've seen a lot of AI image models trending toward in-context editing. For example, GPT offers this feature, as do others like Dream E1 and Omni Consistency, which share similar capabilities for in-context image editing. However, the Flux One context is the one I want to cover in this video because it outperforms many other AI models. I've also tried out bangles from ByteDance, but honestly, the performance wasn't as good as what people on the internet are saying. In reality, after testing it myself, I found it lacking, so I didn't include it in my video. On the other hand, the Flux One context performed really well when I tested it a few times on the official Flux Playground website. It genuinely impressed me and I want to talk about why. When you scroll down to their introduction page, you'll see plenty of examples and their roadmap for the models. Currently, they have the Flux One Context Max and Pro versions, which are server-based APIs available publicly. You can try them out with different providers as well. There's also the Flux One Context Dev version, which will be open source. This version includes distilled variations of the model, allowing you to run it privately on your local PC or private server. That's why I wanted to cover this one. First, by testing it out on the Black Forest Lab official site Playground, where you can try both the Context Max and Context Pro versions in the Flux Playground. Here's how it works. I uploaded a long sleeve shirt image and typed a simple text prompt. I asked the model to put this shirt on a man in a try-on photo with the man standing near a lake. The results were impressive. Four generated images, all with great consistency in how the long sleeve shirt appeared. As you can see, the pattern on the shirt remains consistent across all four images matching the one I uploaded. But it doesn't stop there. You're not limited to just putting a t-shirt on a character. You can also add descriptions or additional settings for the next generation based on the image. For example, imagine this is your editing base and you want to describe changes. Let's say you want to change the weather to winter with heavy snowfall turning the lake water into ice. That's exactly what the upcoming image will reflect. The rendering time on the Black Forest Lab playground is incredibly fast. I suspect these AI models are computationally heavy because, as with other in-context image editing models, they require significant resources. If you have a mediocre graphics card, you probably won't be able to run them smoothly, but Black Forest Lab servers handle it exceptionally well. Let's check out the four generated images. One shows heavy snowfall with the lake turned into ice. The others maintain the same style, transforming the atmosphere into a wintry scene. Despite the background changes, the character and outfit remain consistent. Now, let's say I don't want it to be cold, dark, and wintry. I can pick this image to edit further and change the location. For instance, let's change the weather to summer and the background to a beach with some teenagers playing beach ball. Based on this image, another set of images is generated. However, some of the results may be flagged for moderation if they contain content that's not safe for work and therefore can't be displayed. Let's look at the one that's still publicly viewable. As you can see, the result matches our text prompt. The weather is now summer, the background is a beach, and there are teenagers playing beach ball. This is exactly how in-context image editing works. You don't need to write extensive text prompts. It's designed to be convenient for users to input minimal instructions and get quick edits. Let's start over and see what else we can experiment with. For example, let's use this image as a base. We'll ask the model to change the text to Benji AI Playground. Just like that, we get four generated images. As you can see, the model is capable of in-context editing within an image, generating text with coherent and consistent styles, including font colors and designs based on the reference image. Out of the four images, one got the text wrong. It's missing the word AI, but the other three are nearly perfect. Some minor spelling errors cropped up, though. For instance, the first one is missing the R after G. The second one is missing the G after Y, and the third one has the correct spelling for playground. Pretty cool stuff, right? Still, 
there's room for improvement when it comes to text within images. Flux Context Pro and Flux Context Max are two versions of the model, with Max offering significantly higher performance than Pro, as mentioned on their page. Back to the playground, let's try out the Flux 1, Context Max. Using the Context Max, let's attach this image here and ask the model to change the character into a cyberpunk futuristic style with a black leather jacket and fairy wings on the back. Let's wait for the results. Hmm, this time the output isn't quite the same as my reference image. Let's try again with a simpler text prompt. Okay, here are the four generated images. You can see that the results lean more toward a cyberpunk feel, though some resemble a dark magic style. The leather jacket texture might have led the AI to interpret it as more cyberpunk. Still, the character's face, pose, and overall shape remain consistent with the uploaded image. It's pretty impressive image editing from Flux. I think this AI model outperforms many other image editing AI models in certain features, especially in terms of consistency. The character details remain intact throughout the process. Check it out for yourself. You can try the Flux 1 Context Pro and Max versions on the Flux Playground. But can this replace traditional image editing tools like Photoshop? Not quite yet. While it handles simple tasks well, it struggles with more complex or unique styles of editing. AI is a machine after all. It can't replicate human creativity or the uniqueness of the human brain. So, for now, there's still a place for human creativity when you need highly unique styles or complex edits. That said, you can definitely check it out and test it for simple image editing tasks. Give it a try and see what you think. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. See ya.